Hey, this is Mr. Mason Nett, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to practice writing linear equations in y equals mx plus b form when the rate of change or the slope is given as well as a single point that that line passes through is given. And in this problem, it is given that the rate of change is 3 and it passes through the point negative 6, positive 3. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is write our equation y equals mx plus b. And when writing our equation, we are really just looking for the m value and the b value. And the m is our slope, and the b is where the line intersects the y-axis. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to substitute m with 3. And then we are going to take our point that is given, which is negative 6, positive 3 in this case. And we're going to substitute negative 6 in for the x value and positive 3 for the y value. Remember, ordered pairs are given in xy form. And the first number in parentheses is always your x value. And the second number is always your y. So the x value is always our input. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the slope of 3, or the rate of change, and we are going to multiply it by the input of negative 6. And then we are going to substitute y, which is our output, with 3. So now what we can do is we can isolate the variable b to determine what the y-intercept actually is. So what we're going to do first is simplify this equation a bit to be 3 equals negative 18 plus b. And then we're going to take this term right here, negative 18, and move it on the other side of our equal sign by doing the inverse, which is positive 18. And we have to do the same thing on this side. So on the left-hand side of our equal sign, we have 21. And on the right-hand side, we have b. So our line is going to intersect the y-axis precisely at positive 21. So what we're going to do now is we are going to write our equation as y equals 3x plus 21. Remember, when writing your equation y equals mx plus b form, you are only looking for the m value and the b value. But we started by plugging in the x and the y value in order to figure out what the b value actually is. And after you do figure out what b is, then what you do is you take out the values that you plugged in for x and y. Now, what you can do once you have this equation is you can plug any value in for x, which is your input, and solve everything here on the right. And it will produce an output, which is your y value. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. OK, so this time we have a rate of change that is 1 fourth, and the line is passing through negative 4, negative 1. So instead of writing our entire equation out, what we're going to do this time is we're just going to substitute every variable that we know the value for. So starting with y, we know that the y in this case is negative 1 equals, and m, which is our slope, is 1 fourth, and our x value is negative 4, and we don't know what b is yet, so we have to solve for b. So now we have negative 1 equals 1 fourth times negative 4, which is equal to negative 1. And then we're going to take this b and just drop it down. Now, when I take a look here, I can see that the only thing I can add to negative 1 to make negative 1 would be 0. But just to show our work to completion, we're going to write the inverse of negative 1 right below. And do the same thing on the other side. And this produces 0 on the left. And on the right-hand side, we have our variable b. So whenever you get a y-intercept of 0, what you want to do when writing your equation is after your x term, you are going to write nothing. Because it would be pointless to write plus 0, because you're adding nothing. And since we're adding nothing, we might as well not add anything. So this would be the equation with a rate of change of 1 fourth, and that passes through this point. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. 
Okay, so straight away we're going to start with our y value, which is 3 equal to the given slope, which is negative 3 fourths in this case, multiplied by x. And in this case, our x is negative 12. So we are going to multiply this by negative 12. This time I'm going to write it like this as a fraction. And then we have to add b at the end. We don't know what b is yet. That is what we are trying to figure out. So we are going to simplify this equation. And the product of negative 3 fourths and negative 12 over 1 would be positive 9. Now, what I did is a little bit of mental math here. I knew that I was multiplying a negative by a negative, so I already knew my answer was going to be positive. And for the numerator, we have a product of 36, and for the denominator, a product of 4. So I just took 36 and divided it by 4, which gives us 9. Now we just have to add something to 9 in order to make 3. Now, of course, the only thing you can add to 9 to make something smaller than 9 would be a negative number. So we already know that b is going to be a negative number. So if I do the opposite of adding 9, that would be subtracting 9 from both sides. And what we have on the left-hand side here would be negative 6. And on the right, we just have our variable b. So now we know that the y-intercept would pass through the y-axis at negative 6. So we would write our equation as y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 6. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.